This video is designed to show you how to take care of your Williams turbojet to ensure it runs smoothly every time you take it out on the water. Like any boat, your turbojet needs to be serviced regularly by a trained professional. The first service should be between 12 and 25 hours of use. And after this, you should arrange one every 60 hours or yearly. The full service schedule can be found inside the owner's manual. To find the nearest service agent for your turbojet, simply go to the dealer locator on our website. As well as the scheduled servicing, we strongly recommend that you carry out the following simple maintenance tasks on a regular basis. When you inflate the tubes on your turbojet, it's really important that you start with the rear valves, followed by the front valves. If you don't inflate them in this order, you may cause damage. The tubes should be inflated to a pressure of 3.6 PSI or 250 millibars. This will make them fairly hard to the touch. Before you use your turbojet, always open the engine hatch and check the bilges are dry and free from oil, water and coolant. Check the coolant level to make sure it's between the minimum and maximum marks shown on the reservoir. Check the level of the automatic shaft seal greaser and top it up using a premium calcium sulfonate or high temperature grease. You'll need to apply a good quality marine grease to the steering and reverse cables. Remember to grease the cables at the back too. While doing this, you should also check the condition of the anodes and replace them if worn. Always use either a specialist dielectric grease or Vaseline on the battery and starter solenoid terminals. Make sure you also apply this to the bottom of the navigation light poles and their housings. It's a good idea to give the engine compartment a spray with a high quality corrosion guard every so often. We recommend doing this once a month. It's really important to wash the turbojet down with fresh water after each use. This will remove any salt deposits and help prevent corrosion. It really does make a difference. You'll find the specifications for all oils, fuels and lubricants in the owner's manual, which you can also download from our website. As with any vehicle, it's important to regularly check the oil level of your turbojet. You should never do this on a cold engine. For a more accurate oil level reading, run the engine for at least 10 minutes to make sure everything is warm. Then, switch the engine off and open the engine hatch to locate the oil filter and dipstick. Wipe the dipstick with a clean tissue and you'll see it has two markings, minimum and maximum. Once you've wiped the dipstick, simply push it back in, making sure you don't screw the cap in. Ideally, you want your oil level to be between the two markings. If you ever overfill the engine, please don't take your turbojet out on the water. You'll need to contact your local Williams agent so the engine can be drained properly. For more information about the care and maintenance of your turbojet or anything else, just give us a call or drop us an email and we'll be happy to help.